tiny corp ditches AMD for its tiny box i package, ops for Nvidia or Intel options. Tiny Corp, the company that has recently made headlines due to its i venture, has ultimately decided to part ways with AMD due to the firmware constraints they are witnessing and now utilizing Nvidia and Intel hardware. Tiny Corps finally gives on the troubles the firm faced with AMD's GPU firmware libraries, looks at for better alternatives. We recently reported on how Tiny Corp is developing an eye package called the Tiny Box, which features six of AMD's Radeon RX 7900 XT in an attempt to normalize the use of consumer GPUs for eye workloads. The company did receive massive interest from the markets as their tiny box i solution came with an attractive price tag, but unfortunately, the firm ran into multiple issues with the onboard GPU's firmware, which halted their development. Despite AMD's CEO Lisa Su intervening in the problem, it seems like tiny box has given up, and their latest update has revealed that they might switch camps. The AMD tiny box is on hold until we can build and run the relevant firmware on our GPU's. The driver is still very unstable, and when it crashes or hangs we have no way of debugging it. We have no way of dumping the state of a GPU. Apparently it isn't just them's causing these. The issue is something grave for Tiny Corp, as highlighted by the company themselves, and according to them, they have contacted AMD multiple times but failed to receive a satisfactory response, claiming that Team Red was hesitant in open sourcing its work. Tiny Corp says AMD's GPU firmware is complex, undocumented, closed source, and signed, all struggles we wouldn't have with our hardware. They are moving towards either opting for Intel solutions, probably the Intel RK770, or employing six of Nvidia's GeForce RTX 4090s since they believe Team Green has better software support. I have spoken with AMD on multiple occasions. We have gotten through to top people, and they have been quite nice to us. I believe they want to be more open, and obviously they don't want their driver to have bugs. Unfortunately, this access and response has prolonged this. The frustrations in Tiny Corp on AMD's GPU firmware libraries are justified since their Tiny Box project is indeed a one of a kind solution, and simply running into minor yet complex issues is unaffordable for the firm at this stage. Moreover, it also raises questions about AMD's efforts toward community support, but yet again, if we look at the broader picture, a $300 billion company can't simply open source its years of work for the sake of a nine endeavor. However, Team Red should cooperate with Tiny Corp to make their tiny box a reality since it would tarnish their reputation among similar rise startups.